Hello everybody, this is Kevin back with Inspiring How You See That. So today we are back with another Tech Tuesday and we are back on the 3D printing again. And we had many, many questions and we try to get the 3D printing uh, uh, segments out there as much as we can with your guys' like questions in regards to what issues you may be having. Um, and this question is about the, not only the the, the CR6 Max, but the, the Enders and a few other printers. They're pretty much close to being the same and they're all fed the same way. And most of the time they have the same issues. So this is good for everybody out there that does have a 3D printer. You can kind of reflect um, what we're giving you some tips on in regards to this video. Now the tip that we're gonna give you, and we're gonna show some, you know, a couple different videos in the background. I'm gonna be switching back and forth the screen so I can kind of show you what's going on. Uh, but the issue is, is of course this gear that's on top of your 3d printer and you can see that i'm on the other screen on my screen you guys can't see this but the this gear when you're feeding it it'll sit there and it'll click and it'll remove back and it'll skip and basically what's happening is your uh filament feed is bumping back and forth issue to that is main issue usually typically and we're going to switch over to the screen and show you in a video segment what the problem is Okay, so we are on the next screen and we're gonna play this segment for you. Um, basically, the issue is this right here. We have a fast forwarding segment of the filament coming through here on the head. And basically, I'm gonna stop that and show you guys and kind of go through a little bit more and fast forward it um, to get to this part. So what's basically happening here is your filament will come down through and where it heats up inside the tubing, it will literally bulk up in there. And we made a segment about cleaning this out and making sure you clean it all the time. Um, <clears throat> this can be a problem if you don't clean it. So the, the problem is, is make sure that after every use that you do clean this, make sure your filament is either pulled out or has been fully cleaned out because what happens is it burrs up in there and then your filament going through there will be a piece in there that's either hot or cooled and it's it's kind of burring up on your existing new filament coming through and it will literally just send just a little bit of filament through the extruder, very, very uh, minimal amount and it skips it. And then it just starts burring up more and building up. So that that's quick, simple fix. If you guys want us to, you know, go through and play through on how you, you do all that, it's it's, we can actually make a video to that, but this is just the fix um, and what the issue is. Uh, but basically you can take all this apart and get that corrected. Now, the second issue is, is you see the filament tube here. Um, these filament tubes are only meant to get up to a certain degree temp. So if you have the existing tube that came with your 3D printer and it isn't meant to get that hot and you turn it up too hot, this tube that goes down inside of here it will slowly kind of bubble out and it will literally uh, flare out and will start to cause your filament to burr up in there too as well. And then you have to cut that, that filament tube as you see that, you know, that's directly behind me. You have to cut that filament tube and then feed in a new one. Now, the good thing is you can actually order higher temp tubes. And usually the blue tube is what we recommend. Um, so go ahead and order that blue uh, tube if this issue, it, you know, is a problem. I'll be watching out for our next segments and we'll do some segments with the extruder and some of the updated ones. You guys had some questions about that and many other questions and we'll see you guys on the next segment. 